Hey y'all, it's the arm dude here. Hey, this video is for all you that might be new to using arm. I just wanted to give you a little introduction to contract entry, kind of take you through the steps you got to complete to, to get a new contract in place. So for all you folks who have been using arm for a while, this is probably all going to be redundant for you, but I really wanted to help those that are new to the product. So I hope you find this useful. Keep watching. So in this session, I want to show you how easy it is to uh, create a new contract. First off, we're going to start off in our contract entry screens. This is it here. To create a new contract, we're going to hit the pound sign. Now, I've got my system set up to default to 28-day advanced billing. We support multiple methods of billing, and your defaults may be different. Now, I'm going to confirm my contract date, tell it it's a rental, and we're going to do an order. Now the next thing I need to do is pick my customer. I'll go ahead and go with James Brown. And then once I've got the customer, I want to confirm my reservation dates. If I need to change them, I can do so using the calendar or just typing in the new date. I also want to confirm my billing cycle. On this side, I will confirm my contact information, the terms, and my salesperson. And then finally, the warehouse I'll pull from. Once I've confirmed all of this information, I'll just go to the address tab. I want to know where I'm going to be sending the invoice and where the inventory is going to be located. Next, I'll go to the lines tab, and here is where I'll tell it the items that are going to be on rent. I'm going to pick a few items to start off with. I'm going to tell it I need 10 walkthrough frames. And you'll notice a pop-up list will come up. This is an accessory list. This can be used for required purposes or upsell purposes. It just depends on your inventory and whether or not you have some items you want to make sure the customers get. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and accept these recommendations and tell it to finish. It'll bring in the accessories and the appropriate quantities of each. You can also add a kit if you'd like by clicking on the kit icon and in this case, I'm going to enter a dance floor. Now, I don't have these pre-made up in stock. I'm just going to pull the components. This is important because I'm going to tell it I want one dance floor. And once I've told it we were getting a dance floor, it brings in all of the components so that I know the inventory that needs to be picked. Now, I can repeat this process multiple times until I have all of the items that are going to be out on rent. Once I'm completed with that process, I want to go ahead and go to the totals tab. Now at the totals tab, it'll separate my rental amounts and sales amounts into their own categories and it'll further define taxable versus non-taxable for each category. On this side I'll see commission rates, totals, and finally the contract balance. Once I'm okay with all of this, I'll go ahead and hit accept. And that's how you create a new contract in ARM.